what is up my alpha and exile brothers man it's your boy sega man back with another video this is a fantastic video and i'm excited for i just got some news i just got some news that microsoft is buying activision and blizzard for 70 billion dollars now i'm making this video because this video is not for the true gamers out there this is for the trolls that are out there all right i told you before e rock has told you before he bought has told you millions of times and so has unlimited productions Microsoft's Xbox is a force to be reckoned with. If these games, which I believe they're buying for 70 billion, Activision and Blizzard, in my opinion, and if I believe those all those games are going to be exclusive to console, the Xbox console, and They'll probably go to PC, but we're talking about the consoles. All right, that's the key word. We're talking about the consoles. So, what is the competition going to do about that? See, you guys started this stuff back in 2013. I'm going to keep reminding you in videos. You wanted to go on that bandwagon and not think for yourself as a gamer. You wanted to become a troll and go on that bandwagon with all that bullcrap rhetoric that all these other podcasts were spewing about Xbox. Xbox not having no games is dead. It's been dead. You see, Phil Spencer in the gaming community is a force to be reckoned with. You you guys have to really understand this, man. Microsoft's Xbox is unstoppable right now. Just today, there is a back compat sale going on right now on your Microsoft store for all the Xbox brothers. If you haven't checked out the store, check it out. A lot of great backwards compatibility games on sale. You can get Red Dead Revolver right now for $8.99. If you go out in the wild and try to find that physical, it's over $30. A lot of games right now on sale for back and pack. Go check it out. But back to the story at hand. My brothers are going to do a podcast later on about this. Oh boy, they're going to tear you a new one. E-Rock and them are going to tear you a new one. They're going to tear you up, man. Because this is... This is amazing, dude. Amazing. Now, I know there's some stuff people say about Activision, but Activision? Blizzard? That's huge. Just like the Bethesda and Zenimax. 70 billion. Your company can't do that. Your company of choice can't do that. Remember, this video is for the trolls, not the true PlayStation fans out there. All right. What do you have to say about that now? What do you have to say about Xbox is dead? Xbox got no games. Xbox doesn't have any power in its console. What do you have to say about that now? Are you still going to be in denial and still live in 2013? Are you serious right now? We're in 2022. Are you going to keep living back in the past? Microsoft's Xbox is on fire right now. I'll never understand this. Why would you hate on a game console that gives the best value for a gamer, for your buck. Why? With Game Pass? Ultimate and Game Pass? 
Why would you hate on something like that? I will never for the life of me understand that. Your console of choice is not doing this. It's not. There's an article out right now, and I think that Phil Spencer says he wants Sony to make their own type of game pass. Because he feels their pain. I know people say, oh, he shouldn't. But he feels their pain. See, he's a gamer. He don't care. See, Microsoft has money. They're not worried about Sony taking anything from them because Sony cannot take nothing away from Microsoft. You guys got to understand that. Your consoles that you sell don't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing. When are you going to get it through your thick goddamn skull? It does not mean nothing how many consoles that Sony sells. It's the software. Microsoft is a software company, and they're buying more software companies. Activision, Blizzard. It's all about the gaming. It's all about that Game Pass. It's all about xCloud, cloud gaming. It is the future. Just because they put their games on PC that were on console is not hurting the console players. It's not hurting us at all. It's just PC players enjoying your God of War. Okay? Enjoying... Games that are going to be coming, like Last of Us, all those games are going to go to PC. If they're going to follow the suit of Microsoft so they can make that money, they have to do what Microsoft is doing. They are a copycat company. Let's just keep it real. Okay? They are. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. But you can't come over to people that like Xbox, right? And always come over here and talk rhetoric bullshit about saying that Microsoft is dead. Xbox got no games. Xbox right now got way more games to play than your console of choice on both Nintendo and PlayStation. We're keeping it real, okay? We have way more to play than you do on your system of choice. If you want to experience all these games that Microsoft has to offer, you can either like I said before, like I told you dunces five million times, put it on your play game pass on your laptop, your PC, or your phone. If you hate Microsoft's Xbox console so bad, there is no excuse if you want to play these games because you can play them on a PC, a laptop, a phone. There is no reason why you can't enjoy what Microsoft brings to the table when it comes to gaming. There isn't. There isn't. So, you're going to hear the trolls out there crying today, crying for the rest of the week, probably trying to petition games to come over there like they're doing with Bethesda games. And if it does, let's say they buy. Let's say when they buy Activision and Blizzard. If you get those games, what are you you're paying? You're paying Microsoft you're, buying, you're paying Microsoft if those games come on your console of choice, which means when you're paying Microsoft, it means more games for us. It's a win-win. you got to understand, it's a win-win for us regardless. Regardless if you get the games or not, it's a win-win for us because if, if they do get those games after they buy and it's uh, official, Activision and Blizzard and Sony PlayStation gets those games, you're paying, Sony is paying Microsoft, which means more games for us. So it's a win-win right now. Xbox is winning the competition right now. It's not the console sales, it's the software sales. Microsoft is winning right now. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy your console of choice. But this is great news, and I wanted to make this video because I'm not going to be able to be in the podcast with my brothers. I have to uh, go to work today, put that grind in, but I'm making this video now. I am very blown away when I heard this from my brother, e -Rom. And boy, oh boy, when they do that podcast at later on this evening, they're going to tear into that anus. You know that, right? You know that. You better expect that from uh, Exile and Alpha podcast when you want to always damage control about us and Unlimited Truth Podcast. Expect that anus to get torn to pieces, bro. 
They're going to light into your ass, man. I'm telling you. They are. They are. Now, I'm going to catch up with them later. But I had to make my own little video on that. We are eating so goddamn good over here. It's unreal. My backlog is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I have 925 games installed. 925. Altogether, I have over a thousand something games. Over. Way over. I told you guys before. Xbox is a force to be reckoned with. You guys started this. You guys started this in 2013, all right? You wanted to clown Microsoft, talk about Xbox is dead, Xbox got no games, it's the 720p box. You guys started this. You guys started this, man. The power narrative, even though we had the better lineup of games in 2013 than your, your console of choice had, you guys started this. You wanted to go and listen to all those trollish podcasts that did nothing but do it for money and clicks. They don't care about you. They don't care about what you think. They don't care about what you think. They really don't. All they care about is you watching their bullshit propaganda on their show. That's all they care about. That's all they care about and making money off of, your, off of you being on there and the views. That's all they care about. They don't care about what you like in gaming. Let's just be real. They don't. They don't. They're for, you know, themselves. And that, and if, that, if that's their hustle and you're part of that hustle, they hustled you. But they ain't going to hustle me because I know what they're all about. You're talking to an OG. I know what they're all about. I don't hate them. I don't. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I don't hate them at all. I don't hate them. But I don't want to listen to bullshit rhetoric that I know it's not true. They do this for the clicks and views. And you guys pay attention to that all the time. You can't think for yourself. You can't be your own true gamer and have your own thoughts. You go by what they say. And that's a goddamn shame you guys do that, man. It's a shame. But, man, Activision and Blizzard, it's a wrap. Listen to me. It's a wrap. All right. And I don't believe Microsoft is done yet. I don't believe I think they're going to still acquire more studios. The Microsoft Game Studios and uh, Microsoft as a gaming with their console is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're a, they're a juggernaut right now. They are. They're a juggernaut right now in the gaming community right now. They are. You cannot stop Microsoft. Okay, you cannot wish them to go away. You cannot wish for Xbox to die. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Get out of denial. Pick up a controller and start playing games and judging for yourself, all right? Because Microsoft, Xbox is not going anywhere. Xbox is not dead. Xbox is here to stay. And it's here for life, brother. All right, so this is Sega, man, getting ready to sign out, all right? Peace and love, guys. And listen. Man, Activision and Blizzard? I can't wait to hear what the brothers have to say about this, especially 100 and them too. Shouts out to 100 Intermedia Gaming. I cannot wait to hear what they have to say about this, man. Because this is this is crazy, crazy for us, bro. I mean, hey, I'm happy. I'm happy with what they're doing, man. I'm happy. We're eating good over here, guys. All right? Peace and love. Xbox for life, brother. We don't die. We multiply. Peace.